Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today we are working on a new knitting machine. Um, this machine is called a Knitmaster Mod uh, 100. I've been wanting to work on this machine for a while. Uh, I just never got the chance to it. It's one of the most basic machines that I could find. And uh, the reason why I wanted to use this machine because it uh, had an application for doing a double knit. And uh, I just thought it would be nice to try it out and see what how it works. Uh, what I'll be doing with this is just basically doing a setup and uh, just to show you how the setup works and just to show you how simple the machine is. Here I am taking off the carriage lock. Uh, this is used just to hold the carriage when you pack it in the box. Here what I'm doing is I'm just inserting the table clamps. Um, they were quite flat. I was quite surprised I thought it would be at a much higher angle, but they're actually quite flat, uh, the table clamps. Uh, this machine uh, didn't come with an accessory box. Uh, everything was put onto styrofoam uh, packaging and it had little pockets where all the equipment was. Um, so when you repack your machine, just make sure it fits into those pockets, all the, the accessory bits that you have for this machine. What I like about this machine is it has so few bits. The less bits, the better, because uh, it makes it much easier to replace if you're missing parts. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm going to put the sinker plate on and you move the handle up and uh, It's really quite easy to assemble uh, It's just uh, not a lot of pieces as I said and uh, you, you don't take much time to put it up Uh, this had a very interesting tension unit uh, the actual yarn is actually put into this little bucket and uh, it actually moves with the carriage as you work along and uh, I just thought this was really quite interesting so I'm just showing you how it's put together and uh, you know it's just a bit of practice to put it together and it's really quite easy to do Uh, this is where you're going to do your tension mast. Uh, as you can see, it has a slot uh, where you put the tension mast uh, in, and basically this is where you um, basically this is where the yarn actually travels with the carriage, and uh, this is how you set it up. Uh, it's really quite easy to do. Uh, you just got to point it the right way, and uh, you just slot it in very easily. This is the last piece that you put on. Uh, this is uh, what you do uh, with the, the, the yarn unit, the yarn tension unit, and you just slot it at the top. And uh, it's really quite small. It's not like the um, standard gauge machines or, or the, the bigger machines. They seem to have a much more sophisticated tension unit. This one was really quite simple to, to look at. Uh, this is your row counter, uh, it's just slotted in very easily and as you can see this is where you, you press the, the little gauge at the back and that works your uh, row counter. Uh, this is the equipment that came with uh, the machine. Uh, as you can see it's just very minimal. 
Um, I'm probably going to get a few more bits and pieces for this machine um, and just to uh, build it up a little bit. Some of these pieces I don't even know what they are so I will learn to discover and see how they work. Uh, this brass uh, piece came with it and I really don't know what it is. So it's not in the manual so it's something that I've never seen before. Uh, it's always good to have extra needles that you can use for your machine. Uh, from what I can find out about this machine, it's actually a, an early mid-gauge machine. You get your standard gauge machines and then you get your chunky machines and then you get a mid-gauge machine. Basically what I found out was that there was a previous machine of this and basically the machine used to have a, a gauge of 1 to 10 and then when they made this machine they uh, extended it by making a gauge that went to 1 to 14 so it could include uh, the double nits or the DK nits uh, for machine knitting um, what I found with this machine is that it actually liked an open edge cast on instead of an e-wrap cast on for some reason or other it just didn't uh, it was very difficult to move the carriage over so I just uh, did the open edge cast on and that seemed to like it the most uh, this machine uh, was a little bit difficult when it came to the yarns I found I had to test a number of, of double knit yarns to see if they would work as the, the machine likes a very smooth yarn it doesn't matter what the fiber is but it really uh, wants a small a smooth kind of very smooth yarn it doesn't like uh, bumpy yarns or yarns that are, are fluffy it tends to struggle with those type of yarns overall this uh, machine is quite interesting so i'm just going to test it and see what it can do uh, it's very basic and um, i just want to see what i can do with it uh, i'll be looking at the ribbings and anything else this machine has uh, I'd like to say thank you to the new subscribers um, I'm not sure what project I'm going to do next and uh, please subscribe and uh, leave a comment